Hi you guys, this is the original Rude Gal and for this video I am going to do my daily face routine and let me give you a warning. Here's a warning or disclaimer. Um, there's three principles in cleansing your face. Actually there's four, but there's three that you'll do daily. That is cleanse, tone, and moisturize. That's it just for basic maintenance of the face. Those three. Now the fourth is exfoliate. Some people with oily skin or you know like not even dry skin. If ever you feel like you have like peel or you can rub your skin and feel like little pebbles flaking off or little greasy things just flaking off, that's your dead skin cells. So it always helps to exfoliate. I would tell you not to exfoliate more than um, every three days. The reason being is because when you have the fresh baby soft skin, of course, with the environmental impurities, is also going to get dull and die off and you'll, your skin is always rejuvenating itself. So just remember that. Also, the key for all clear skin is water consumption. Water consumption, water consumption. Now, You've heard the old adage, you are what you eat. That is completely true. If you eat a diet high in fats, high in um, sodium, high in sugars, it's going to show through your skin. So, um, everybody should know, and if you do not know, you probably have an idea of what causes your skin to break out. Like with me, here and here. Um, usually, sorry, pinch my nose. Yeah, my speaking nose. As you can see, I do not have perfect skin. I mean, I do not have big pores, but I do. Hi, I am hyperpigmented, meaning when I get acne and when I get a pimple, it's a giant pimple and it's a painful pimple. So, I'm going to show you how I usually do my day, morning, and evening routine. Products may vary, but honestly, look what works for you. If you have your favorite cleanser that usually works, I'm not going to say to shock your skin. You don't need to shock your skin. All you need to do is just properly astringe um, or tone and properly moisturize. So, let's begin. skin is slightly splotchy but honestly I can't give you an explanation for it you could go and say maybe I'm blotchy because of the um, prominent areas where I do tend to break out I as you see I don't break out much around here around my eyes um, also down here I've stopped breaking out down the bridge of my nose this is a scar from a mosquito bite yeah but now I've cleansed, I've exfoliated with my um, Clarisonic Mia 2, and yes I do use that with, you could use the Clarisonic cleanser that comes with it. Honestly, 
to me it's just the same as any other little gel gentle cleanser so that's why I used it with the foaming wash because even though it's foaming um, I still maybe I'm just old-fashioned I like to feel as if I am exfoliating now you can use that or you can use a derma sponge which they do have many of them like the Pfizerderm sponges you can use that but um even the natural soft sponge, you can use it if you have ultra sensitive skin. Um, honestly, the thing with cleansing your face and even just using the foaming wash is make sure you're doing circular motions and you're gonna do from your nose out and up, not out and down. Out and down will give you premature wrinkles, especially around your eye area. You want everything to go up. So pretty much I'm gonna give you the instructions for a mini uh, facial, all right? So next, I have toned. Um, also, I'm sorry, this is a British trick, a trick I learned in England. Before you wash your face, wash your hands with the cleanser. That will help to remove any bacteria that's underneath your nails. If you're like me and you love to have long nails, it will remove any bacteria underneath your nails. It will keep it clean, thus less bacteria is in your pores. So now we're going to go on with, I'm using right now Clarity's Deep Cleansing Acne, Deep, deep Cleansing, clean, Deep Cleaning Astringent Acne Treatment. These are the funnest things. This is my Equate little facial pads. As you see, it's about this big. And I do love this for my astringent. Um, it's less linty than using a cotton ball, but um, if you, all you have is cotton ball, hey, use that. Remember, you have to tone or use an astringent. That just helps close up your pores. So when you put your moisturizer, they don't seep all the way in and they do not clog your pores. Your moisturizer can be oil-free. It can be chemical-based or silicone-based. It really doesn't matter. The whole point is, without a good astringent, you still run the risk of clogging your pores. I kind of like clarity, no dyes. And then we're just going to put some. You don't want to saturate it, but you want it enough. As you see, my thumb goes through. And then I'm just going to gently put it. Watching out for my eyes. I really don't need around my eyes or my upper, my cheekbones. I don't need that, really. The stringent, remember, it's like witch hazel. Some of them made with alcohol. I really don't want to dry out around my eye area. I really don't even want to dry out around here, around my bridge, but I do. Just in case any oil, because I do, as you see, like to wear full coverage makeup to hide some of these dark spots. And that's what the astringent will take off any other additional gunk or makeup that you may have missed with cleansing, as well as close your pores. And there's astringent, or there's your toning method. So. That is step number, step two is going to be your moisturizing treatment, but I'm going to try it. Usually what I do is I use my treatment. I do my acne treatment first over any blemishes or my problem area just to like, right for me, it's here and here and here. Don't ask me why. Occasionally do I get them on my nose, right here in the socket. I usually get pimples, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow this and use moisturizer. Now, the way I do moisturizer, you can overly moisturize your face, which I'm not trying to, so what I just do is put a dot here, here, almost like the old uh, foundation routine. You put in your T-zone. And I do put on my decollete or my neck area, because I do want my neck area to be hydrated. Nobody wants a waddle. You know, a turkey waddle, gobble, gobble. Look. Yeah, nobody wants that. Again, with the moisturizer, bring it up, up. And as you see, my skin is not overly oily. Now, and that's all you need for a daily routine. That's all I usually do for my face. Um, now I'm going to show you some additives. One additive you can use for sensitive skin, I use grapeseed oil. With grapeseed oil, I find, especially when it's hot and humid, just a little bit of grapeseed oil, like two drops like that. And then what I do is I just rub it in my hands and I pat it on my face. Helps hold in the moisture. Um, it's not overly greasy as you can see at all and it's a very natural oil 
And I use this for the massage part of my facial. So I do this technique, tap it on your face, is Petrissage. It helps stimulate blood rushing to like my cheek area. Pump, plump them cheeks up. Also, I use it for my, like some people have, um, not crow's feet, but the frown, like frowning forehead or whatever. I don't, just keep on massaging up, 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 defeating gravity. And that's it. And lastly, your acne treatment. For my acne treatment, I use Clarity. I like Clarity. Clarity is a very good, um, I feel it's sucking up the oil. So that's what I love Clarity for. And it's a little roller ball. And all I do is, I seek them out. Like that one pimple there. Oil, where it's getting red there. One right on my cheek. And one right here. I feel it working. But like I said, it's a spot treatment. And there you go. I keep on saying there you go. Well, anyway, this is the original Rue Gal making new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Again, this is my daily face routine. Let me know how you do your face routine. Let me know if this has been helpful with you for you. If you need any other additional um, information, just leave it in the comment boxes, and I'll answer any questions that you have. Have a good day, Rudies. Bye.